Hi, it's Dana with Fabulous Style. I'm here with another thrift haul video. Um, this is a thrift haul from everything this last week, two days of thrift shopping, basically. Um, on Tuesday, I went to a Goodwill here in my town, and in the past, I've bought and sold bags that are this MCM brand. And I've never thought they were very cute, but um, they're apparently very popular in Europe or something. And I just happened to be walking through the men's coat department, and they had this jacket. It's actually a velour jacket with um, this MCM pattern kind of all over it. Almost, I don't know, it's almost in a bomber jacket style, but... To me, these remind me of like a lounge coat for men with this velour. But I did look up on eBay really quick because I would never have normally bought this. But there are other MCM jackets. The ones that are completely leather that are MCM have the this trim here and there um, are like selling for $300. This one, I don't know if I saw any that had the velour. So I thought for $8.99 that I'd go ahead and buy it and see what happens. I put it on eBay. Um, we also went to our, the gently used store that we normally go to. And first thing I saw when I went in there was this adorable little plastic box purse. I love these. I don't know if this is actually considered Lucite. It's kind of a marbled pale gray, and there's lots of these on eBay. They're um, Willardy is the brand. I love how the the strap is like stiff and goes up and over, and instead of being attached to the top, but inside is a mirror, so you can put your makeup on, check your lipstick um, when you're. Uh, when you have your bag and it's so cute. I did notice after I bought it that there should be a little something right here So I found another one on eBay and there's that one had a little tiny like a silver bead which I could easily um, Glue one in there one other one had a pearl which I think would be even prettier even though this that one was more of a pearl color but I think this would be pretty with a pearl. This would be cute. I think I'll use it like in my craft room for supplies, but it would be cute just to carry it on a special occasion and um, maybe eventually sell it. This particular size and shape doesn't seem to sell for a whole lot, but it is really cute nonetheless. Um, another thing I bought, let me see what I, okay, this is all at that, at the Gently Used thrift store. These um, are Clark's, just short booties, and I was actually looking at some short boots like this in black that were like $150 at Macy's, and I wear wide, and they don't carry those in the store, so they have to order them. So I was looking online and I found another pair like for 90 in a wide that I could have ordered. Um, and I really wanted black, but when I saw these and they were only $10 and I thought, you know, just to wear like at work or with jeans, um, I don't have any brown ankle boots. Um, and I like to wear boots. These are an eight and a half. So with thick socks, I think they'll fit well. I also bought, because <laughs> just because I think they're so cute, and I just had surgery on my foot this last October. So I'm thinking that this summer, the um, the scar from that was bunion surgery, so it was on the top of my foot. I have two big scars. So I'm going to look for sandals that kind of cover up the top of my foot a little bit, you know. So these are aerosols. They are super, super squishy inside, which is awesome. And in the summer, I love to wear sandals like this um, just for 
kicking around. They end up in the back. They're six dollars, so I couldn't pass them up. I actually have another pair of these um, in the soft brand, and these say they're an eight. They kind of look big to me. I didn't even try them on. I just grabbed them and bought them because they were only six dollars. <laughs> so I hope they really are size eight. Yeah, it says size eight on them, so those will be nice for summer. And anything else in this bag? A uh, pair of sunglasses. Oh, Michael Kors sunglasses that I got at the Goodwill. Whoops. Uh, MK on the side. So, this will be after I clean them up. Clean that off there. I always pick up sunglasses when I can find them for 99 cents. And, oh, this little, that bag the plastic bag came with somebody had just put it inside a dust cover that is louis vuitton but i don't know if it's really a louis vuitton but that's a nice way to keep that from getting scratched up because so i have seen a few of them i was looking on ebay and they were kind of scratched and then another thing i bought at um the gently used store is this cute little necklace it's just black and white um, flowers that'll be cute once spring hits or a sunny day or something. You can wear it with white or black or even possibly with a color, but I do wear a lot of black and white, so I think that'll be really cute for spring and, and summer. And I don't like to pay a whole lot for jewelry because I forget to wear it. Then another thing I got that was on the dollar rack there was this sweater set and they actually gave me the set for a dollar it's I mean I don't know that I'm ever really thinking that I wish I had um, a, a long cardigan sweater set but for a dollar I thought you know I should get it and every once in a while I do think I need something off-white and I don't really have I have an off-white um, like a sleeveless shirt, but it's kind of long, so I don't, I end up not wearing it with stuff because it hangs down too low. And, oh, and then this jacket, I, I like blazers that are made out of knit. They're just so comfortable to wear to work, and it feels like you have on a knit jacket, but yet it looks like a blazer. So, um, they had this one, which I'm sure is really hard to see it's from J. Jill and it's just a plain blazer style which obviously too dark and it's kind of dark in here when I turned on the overhead light it just really washed me out so um, I turned it back off oh and this oh, I just got for five dollars got just another this is just a totally straight black skirt so and I'm always wearing black skirt and so this other stuff is from Value Village so at Goodwill what did I get oh at Goodwill I got those Michael Kors glasses and then I also bought these Burberry um, tennis shoes it's like a mule tennis shoe and Burberry there, which I did throw them in the washing machine and now they're kind of like bumpy. They dried kind of bumpy, so, but I think they may have sat in the washing machine too long. So I'm actually going to put them back in the washing machine. They were kind of dirty and this was all squished down, this part in the back. And so um, I'm going to see how they do with one more washing. If not, I'll end up throwing them away because they're too small for me. So if I can't sell them, then, um, I'll, or take them to a clothing swap, maybe somebody else will want them. Okay, that was the Goodwill that I went to. Then on my way home, I stopped at um, Value Village. It was later in the day and found a couple of purses. I got this coach purse, which is still selling for close to, you know, like, 
The used ones like this are selling for like 50 some, 50 some to 70. Um, it's got the big turn lock on the front and it's hang tag and it was $14.99. It does, it is showing some wear along the edges if you can see that on the top. So, but that's really the only wear. The bottoms look pretty good. And this, um, I have, a, I have another purse out of this same kind of fabric and it does show wear quite quickly, but it's a nice little bag. It's, I like the size of it and you know the shoulder strap is kind of short but it it's not too bad and so this is a cute little coach purse but just a little extra coach purse and then I also I couldn't I was like are these fake because they both were there at the same time maybe they just put them out but I actually really like this style even though it's a little older but I found this Dooney and Burke dome top purse. And it's like there's like no wear on it, hardly at all. It says Dooney and Burke on the bottom. It has the nice big zippers that unzip all the way and the sides. It's kind of unfinished inside, so I'm wondering if it was, it might have been one of the ones that they sold on, um, HSN, and maybe they still sell Dooney and Burks on HSN. I bought one that I love. It's my favorite style of Dooney and Burke. It's just kind of a square, and it has sections in it, and I bought one. I paid a lot for that because the person who had bought it off of HSN paid, I think she paid like 260 and it came with some extra accessories, and I, she sold it on Craigslist, and she didn't have any of the accessories, so I bought it from her and I paid more than I wanted to at the time but I love the style because of the sections of it and so anyway I think this might be kind of one of those they were a little bit they didn't have the same kind of lining and stuff and then and it doesn't have again it doesn't have the shoulder strap which I wouldn't use anyway I don't like detachable shoulder straps but I did find I picked up at a store, this is not a Dooney and Burke. This, the Dooney and Burke ones usually, a strap, shoulder strap, they usually come over and then hook, so they're, there's not an actual hook on the end of this. But I thought if I ever, if I ever wanted to use the shoulder strap or I may sell it, and if somebody wants a shoulder strap, I got this for a dollar. So I uh, will well, just add the strap to it. It's a cute little purse. And I will be, and there's no, there's no hang tag, which I don't know if this purse came with a hang tag. It probably did. And there's, I just now noticed that there's like a white spot there. I don't know if that's a bleach spot or if it's powder. Might be powder that will come out. I'll have to try and clean that off and see what happens. Um, so I got that. Oh, I also got this. I couldn't pass it up, even though I absolutely do not need anything like this. Let me stuff something in it to kind of hold it, give it some shape. <laughs> That's probably too much. But it's another little crocodile or alligator purse. It's so cute. I love the style. I definitely want to hold on to this and use it. Is there there's just like a little bit of wear right here that I'll condition that and see how it looks. And then what's really cool is the top. It's, um, oh, that plastic, is it Bakelite? I don't know if it's Bakelite, Lucite, what it is, but it's in like a little brass thing. And then it's a little ball and it clasps up at the top. It's so cute, and for $5.99, <laughs> an alligator bag, I could not pass that up. But it doesn't say alligator inside, so I can't, like, actually call it that. What else did I... Oh, I did get... So I've been making... Um, I'll do a video pretty soon about these 
um, purse organizers that I've been making that are really just a zipper pouch, but they have several, like two zippers on the outside, two zippers on the inside to just like pick it up and put it into another purse. And it's just everything that you would put in your purse, you can put in this pouch. And actually somebody, I will say somebody on a blog, I kind of got the idea from them, but they had bought one, excuse me, at Target that had, it opens up, it's a makeup thing and it has like one zippered pouch part and then it has all these little flat zippered pouches and then on the other side it has a spot for makeup brushes and um, she uses it as like a mobile office and she puts all of her little office supplies and then keeps it in her bag since she travels around. And I thought that was such a great idea and I thought well I should do that with just like all the junk that's in the bottom of my purse because there's always you know pens and I don't know all just kind of different stuff that's in the bottom of your purse or that you always have to try to have a big zipper pocket that it fills up and stuff so anyway I made this pouch and it takes how many it takes five zippers to make this pouch and zippers are expensive so I've been looking for them in thrift stores and I found at Value Village two bags full of zippers and they were 99 cents each the other one just fell on the floor excuse me and this one that has some bright color zippers in it and because they're like purse pouches I think it's fun to put like a bright contrasting zippers and stuff I've made several that I'm not using I'm just trying to perfect my pattern <laughs> so anyway I got a ton of zippers for two bucks so that was exciting oh another thing I bought maybe for those sunglasses over there I just thought this was cute a juicy couture um, it's just a sunglass case but it still has the little um, oh, I'm dropping everything on the floor oh that's kind of cute has the little thing to clean off your sunglasses so I picked that up oh and then also in the sewing supply department I got this was purple tags were half off so it was a dollar fifty but it's full of just sewing supplies like um, oh I noticed the last time I was looking for a hook and eye I thought I had a whole bunch of them and I could only find I have a bunch of oops this. Oh, there's some buttons in here too. Oh, some hand sewing needles, which were a dollar seventy-nine just by themselves. These, well, these are old. They were twenty-three cents originally. I do have a bunch of these kind of little hooks. That's a. There's some sew on snaps, and then these are what I was wanting. These hook and eyes like what you would put on a pair of pants and these were only 95 cents but I I'm pretty sure they're more than that now I don't know anyway it came with some sewing machine needles that I don't know if I would be able to use this must be for yarn <laughs> and a thimble which I know I have a thimble but the last time I was trying to hand sew um, something I could not find my thimble so I was excited to see that but what was it the other day I was looking at a, I'm gonna keep looking for sewing supplies because I need another seam ripper they're really expensive and just like those marking pencils and stuff they're like three four dollars each so if you bought up a bunch of supplies it would cost a lot of money so I'm super cheap I don't I don't want to spend money on and stuff that I may or may not ever use and to me that's what crafting stuff represents um, so then yesterday I went to the Salvation Army on my lunch break and I it was their half off day everything was half off and so the first thing I picked up and I'm going to turn on the light in here for this maybe you'll be able to see it it's actually it's a coat Cynthia Stife and the back of it is a sweater it's a sweater coat in the back the front 
is suede, kind of sectioned off suede. And then down, I bought it because down the sides right here, and there's pockets, but down the sides is this little um, line of fur. And it feels like real fur. I haven't really looked at the rabbit fur trim, which is bad. Rabbits are so sweet, but <laughs> there's rabbit fur trim on it and suede. It's real suede in the front. And it's a really nice kind of thick sweater material. And then it has a suede belt. I thought it was just, there's something about it that's just really like boho looking. And um, so if I have time, this time of year, I love, I spend every extra minute I have shopping for things, but I don't really have time to list stuff. So I really need to find a day and just force myself to list some things. Another thing I found there, that was $8, which I think this, it had like a garage sale um, price on it, and they didn't have their own price, so I got it for $4 because everything was half off. Then I got these. I've seen these there before. I almost bought them once before because I only had a sticker price of $3.50, but they're Stuart Weitzman um, little booties. They're dark brown, suede, and then this is like a satin wrap around the top and then a buckle they're cute just like a little stiletto booty and then oh yeah then i found this michael kors white or off-white purse and it's kind of cool it's got a brush gold um uh turn lock on the top and it has like absolutely nowhere. I think somebody bought it just as like a summer purse and then probably never really ended up using it. But for spring, it'll be, should be pretty easy to sell for a spring bag because I probably wouldn't use it. I have a spring bag. Then the most exciting thing about yesterday that I got, I don't think I really got anything else there. I remember coming out of there with a big, oh, well, it's one other thing. I actually got this at Value Village, but I put it off to the side. I love this color. And what was this? $6.99. It wasn't half off or anything, but it's a lavender cashmere sweater. It's so cute and so, 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 so soft. And Taylor cashmere. So... That was two-ply cashmere. <clears throat> I was excited about that. Then, okay, back to my Salvation Army find. So I found, Tuesday I found a coach purse and a Dooney and Burke. I found a couple weeks ago that vintage blue, the green vintage Dooney and Burke. And then yesterday I found this vintage Dooney and Burke. It was at that um, half off sale. They actually had about five vintage Dooney's in the case. So it must probably one person donated um, her bags. And I found inside of it, you know, some cards and stuff that were um, like a Bon Marche, which now is Macy's, um, a Bon Marche tag for something. It wasn't for this purse. But I could tell it was really old. I've been, I've been around here for a while. And um, I just thought it was, I bought this one because of the lock on the top. It's got, it kind of flattens out on the top. And it has a lock. And opens up kind of square. I've got, got it stuffed to hold, try and hold its shape. It was almost like smashed completely down. And then you just hold it on the top and it's got the top handles it's got its original tap hang bob and then the shoulder strap is attached it's kind of a squared i don't know i was trying to find this style on ebay to see what they sell for this is some people call this like a doctor's bag and then i noticed that it's supposed to have a key that goes to the lock and I was so disappointed and last night I was looking for just a key and stuff so then this morning I opened this up and I stuffed it to try to 
open up the bag itself and I started looking in the pockets better and I found the key. <laughs> it's so sad that I was so excited about this. <laughs> but it's got the this little brass, whoops, this little brass key that goes on here and you know attaches. I'll have to look and see where it should originally be attached. If it should be attached to this side or where where you would attach it. I know one of the bags that was attached to the side here, or I guess you could attach it to this. Um, let it hang down with the fob, kind of on top of it. That would look cute. The fob would hang on top of it because they actually have some bags that have a fob that does look exactly like that. So, so we'll see. It's kind of cool. I need to stuff it with more packaging. It just has it's actually in really good condition for its age. It has a little bit of water staining on the corners, but no like real serious wear. And then this is how the straps go. And I think even in the newer bags, they're like this. All the bags that I buy that I buy for myself almost always have, you know, the shorter shoulder strap, like this length shoulder strap. So I don't usually buy bags that have a shoulder strap that hangs down. That other black coach bag, I carried that for a while. The one that I found that's like a new bag um, that's in one of my past videos. I carried that for a while and I love that bag. I love it, except that you have to carry it on your arm or this big long shoulder strap. And the shoulder strap hangs down, you know, when you're walking around. And I, I just don't like that. That's not my style. So, but this is, I just think this is super cool. It was half off, so I got it for $10 because they had marked it for $20. And the others had considerable wear. Plus, I was in a hurry because I had gone to the post office and then I was on my way back to work from my lunch break. Um, and then I always get back from lunch and I'm starving because I use my lunch break to go to thrift stores. <laughs> and I don't always get to take one, so... Um, so yeah, that was a great find yesterday, and um, so I just need to get listing some of the stuff that I'm going to sell, and um, right now I have I still have stuff on eBay, not a whole lot, because I did sell a bunch of, of things this last week, so hopefully I can get some things listed. Maybe this weekend I'll have a chance to list some items and please check out my auctions on eBay. It's fabulous style with an asterisk between fabulous and style and I will see you next time. Thanks.